Beach Nuts here with David Wolf Live. We are here at Modern Juice with John Baxter and Megan. And they are going to share with us some of the cool and healthy ingredients to live a complete awesome and healthy lifestyle. John, tell us what you're doing here. How you doing? Name's John Sullivan, owner of Modern Juice Company. How you doing? Uh, so what we've got going on here, we're a uh, local juice bar here in Jupiter, Florida. And uh, right now we've got Baxter cutting some ginger. So we have a, what we call a, a slightly unique form of uh, juicing and smoothing, where we do the cold pressed juices, we do the centrifugal juices, we do blended uh, smoothies, we do blended bowls. Um, everything is made fresh in-house, two orders, so it's all fully customizable and adjustable for what you need. Uh, and, and we have a, uh, a real uh, passion to, to try to source as much of this stuff locally um, from the local farmers, local you know, customers that bring us stuff uh, from time to time, which is you know, pretty cool, pretty unique. Like right now on our special board, we've got a, our turmeric punch and turmeric tonic shot. And uh, the turmeric was brought to us actually by one of our customers that grows it in their yard. Um, so it's really pretty cool that you know we have the ability to kind of source that stuff. Um, you'll see too on that shot, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see we've got uh, mame ripening up in the back. We've got mango. Mango season in Florida just kicked off. And anybody who knows anything about South Florida knows we are mango heaven. So we've got some mangoes actually ripening in the back. Uh, a couple of varieties that just uh, came into season, early season, um, are some of the uh, the, the Kents. Um, and the Tommy Atkins will be a little bit later. We've got some Haydens coming through. Um, Florigons will come through. So there's a, there's a bunch of different uh, kind of mangoes that'll present themselves and they're all very different in their characteristics and how they taste and all that. Right now Megan's making a uh, looks like a banana protein uh, if I had to guess. Yep, got the banana protein going. So we use frozen fruit um, instead of the um, store-bought frozen fruit. We freeze it all in-house. We, we get it in whole, chop it up, work it ourselves. That way we can ensure the quality and the standards and there's no Protein we use, we use a uh, plant-based protein. It's from a company called Fit Team. Uh, Fit Team is owned by a local gentleman. Uh, and it's a uh, it's a kosher, organic. Um, you know, it's got all the different certifications. They've sawed out, and it's a uh, milk flavor protein. Really, really good. We used to use a uh, Garden of Life, but uh, in our commitment to kind of try to support small business, we reached out to uh, the Fit Team and uh, brought that in. As we get back here, you'll see we got Baxter cutting up some, uh, peeling some bananas. So, like I said earlier, we, we bring in all the whole fruit. We cut it ourselves, just kind of like you do at home. Um, you know, there are alternatives out there for products that you can buy frozen, but what we've learned is some of that stuff isn't exactly uh, uh, 
uh, top quality that we like. I, I like it if it's gonna if it says a banana, it should just be a banana. It shouldn't be soaked in syrup. It shouldn't be treated with any sort of uh, sulfur dioxide or any of those other kind of weird, crazy chemicals to preserve it. A banana's a banana, um, you know. And, and Mother Nature's done a great job at, at, at doing the job once and doing it right. Uh, I'd also say too, uh, you know, our, our stuff doesn't sit inside of our freezer very long. It, it lasts about a day before we move through. Right now, this is kind of a, a little slower time so we can film, but it, it's just generally rock and rolling. So it's the beauty of kind of having some volume that we don't have to worry about that. So. biggest uh, missions too is we provide we use honey instead of sugar um, none of our stuff has any sugar in it we use honey sourced uh, from McCoy's which is a local apiary uh, right in Loxahatchee actually which is a town just to the west of us um, we, you know we vary right now we're using their wildflower because it's kind of uh, post citrus season during citrus season we'll try to use their uh, orange blossom they also have a palmetto honey, which uh, if you're not from Florida, may not really be too familiar with what a palmetto honey is from the uh, from palm tree. Uh, very, very good, but each one of those honeys has a different characteristic, different flavor profile. Um, right here, Megan's actually about to make a bowl. Um, and our bowls are all made custom, made to order. We don't do any of these sorbets. The products we, we do an acai. Uh, for those of you who know about these, Super, uh, super food, the acai berry. So uh, from Brazil, we use a, a brand uh, product called Tropical, which is a USDA organic, no sugar added. Uh, we use the freezer packs, stuff you can buy right in the store. Uh, we use that for our acai, then we also use the Pattaya Plus. Our Pattaya comes from Nicaragua. Um, this product is, uh, we call it Pattaya, it's just dragon fruit. And this product is incredible. Tons of antioxidants. All that kind of good stuff that uh, makes you healthy and keeps you strong. And again, one of our missions when we first started was that a lot of the big companies use sugar-laden fruit, sugar-laden syrups, and all that kind of stuff, and and that just wasn't didn't fit our mold. We wanted the ability to uh, customize things as you want them, as you need them, uh, to fit your lifestyle. And uh, and that's how we ended up with it. We ended up finding products like the, these Blendtec twister jars that help us accomplish our goals and get us to where we want to get to. And uh, it's, you know, for our area, there's a lot of juice bars, but nobody else does what we do.
deep purple with the one on the right. That would be uh, our North Shore Mall. And then the tie gives it just that, that nice pink hue on the bowl on the left. And again, that's tons of antioxidants. So you notice she did a little sprinkle of the chia seeds on top of the Super Bowl there. Our Super Bowl combines the tie and the outside together with the uh, almond milk, which gives it that creamy color. We make our almond milk in house. The chia seeds are actually grown just to the west of us, um, out by uh, Port Mayaka, kind of in the uh, sugarcane area. Um, and those are all USDA organic. Uh, they kind of, if you don't know how chia seeds are grown, maybe you remember the old chia pet from the 80s, uh, but it's just a grass. And so um, so the grass picks out the seeds and you get white ones and black ones and uh, the gentleman out there who makes those for us, or grows those for us, uh, just, you know, doesn't sort of grill them, just gives us what he's got. You know, cleans them and then brings them in, which is, a, you know, just a great source to have. We've got a bounty of uh, really great fruit vegetables and products all locally around us uh, in South Florida. It's a, uh, just a hotbed for agriculture. Some of it's big ag, uh, you know, and uh, large scale production of sugar cane, which has gotten a lot of attention recently because of Lake Okeechobee. And, uh, but there's also all sorts of really small scale guys doing really, really cool things locally um, with different tropical fruits and things. Right now we've got Baxter's cleaning up our uh, Siedo machine. Uh, I briefly touched base on the idea that we do cold press juicing as well as our centrifugal juicing. Um, the grinds from our uh, juicer, actually we put them in five gallon buckets and we give them to a couple of local gardeners that use them for their compost heat, uh, which is kind of cool. It's just another way for us to give back uh, when possible, but we have uh, a a good portion of our customer base have different allergies and different things, so when they come in, um, you know, we try to do the, uh, you know, if they request for us to clean the machine because they have an allergy or a sensitivity to something, we have no problem breaking the machine down, clean it up. Um, we landed on this machine because of the efficiency with the fruit and the, uh, the pulp that we get out of it. We've tried four or five different machines. That machine is manufactured in Italy. And, uh, and the manufacturers of that machine actually flew over from Italy because we were one of the first places to use it outside of Whole Foods. And uh, we're really interested in the fact that we were uh, we were really playing with the different blades and kind of you know kind of tweaking it to meet our needs. And uh, those guys were really good and helpful uh, with what we needed to do. That's uh, we, we pre bottle some of our juices down here that we use. Like uh, Megan just used some OJ, we hand press the OJ. We've got the almond milk down there that we make in house, apple juice, the acai, uh, coconut water. But coconut water we actually get in frozen from Thailand. Uh, that'd be snug back here behind the cilantro. Um, that product is uh, we get it in giant blocks frozen. It's just we haven't been able to find a, a better product yet. In this country, um, so it's one of the few products that we actually bring in. We're working with the local company. We had a, an outbreak recently with uh, 
white flies, a lot of the pesticides that get into the trees around here are uh, pretty brutal and they really didn't want to deal with that. That'd be our pipe cleaner. Again, one of, one of our missions is to be able to provide, you know, with the full press juices, one of the things you, you don't get is you don't get the ability to customize it as you need to. So if you have a sensitivity to, say, ginger, um, and there's a juice that you really want but it has ginger in it and it's in a bottle, well, you can't take that out. Well, the beauty of the centrifugal machine is we have the ability to customize the juice however, whichever way you want it. We also learned early on when we opened that we got a, we got a little bit of flack for not being so dedicated to the cold press juicing uh, as everybody else was a few years ago. It's been a business about three years, and uh, you know what we learned is that most everybody drinks their juice in about ten minutes after leaving here. So the idea is that you know if you're going to make it, you're going to drink it right away. There, there really is uh, you know not a, a significant depletion of, of nutrients and whatnot in the centrifugal version as opposed to the cold pressing. I mean, there's no question that cold pressing gives you a much better, much superior product. However, the, the downside to it is it doesn't allow for the different customization and, and the adjustment for what you need. Um, so, you know, we just want to be able to provide the best options for everybody. That's going to be uh, our sunshine punch, which is carrot, apple, pineapple, orange, and ginger. South Florida, it gets hot. I'm telling you, that juice right there will tune you up. It's nice and hot out here. So great addition to Florida heat.
too for all the, the people that are at home making these juices or trying to do these kinds of things. There's a lot of machinery, it's extremely expensive. Uh, you know, if you want to you know, use wheatgrass at home, then you gotta buy a wheatgrass machine, uh, a masticating juicer like that with the auger that uses uh, pressure instead of uh, speed. Look at that juice. <laughs> Foam. Don't discount that foam. That foam is just good. There's tons of nutrients to the foam. Well, so what we've done is we've got taken the hard work out and uh, we bought all the machines, spent all the money, and uh, make it easy for you. You're gonna kind of take the hard work done. So all you can get to just come in and enjoy the juice. Which is awesome. All right. Beach Nuts here. We're going to sign off with David Wolf Live with John and Megan and Baxter at Modern Juice. Thank you so much for sharing all the goodness that you guys are delivering to the world. And uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, awesome. guys. Thanks. We appreciate it. It's awesome.